Hey guys, Stephanie here. Please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Thank you to all my new subs. All right, so yesterday, all right, me being me, I go to the nail salon, right? And everyone's wearing masks. And I'm just like, dee 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 dee, saying hi to everybody. Like, haven't seen you since March. How have you been? And I'm like, dude, why is everybody staring at me? I felt like, you know, when you go to the zoo and there's like that, that wild animal in the cage and everybody's like, they're studying that animal, like that wild species, you know, like, what's it going to do? I felt like I was being examined, like I was like on display because I didn't have a mask on. I totally forgot about COVID-19 because, you know, it's all about like rioting and protesting Black Lives Matter. Then all of a sudden, boom, COVID's back. Dun, dun, dun. Not only that. So this little war on price gouging, I figured I would take it to a next level myself. So every time I go to a store and I see these ridiculously priced masks, hand soap, like uh, home cleaners, like all these products that people are supposed to need to stay healthy and to keep the virus, the virus from spreading are being like inflated so high and so bad but it's not being addressed. People are making a lot of money off of this COVID-19. You know, like after 9-11, it was all about those travel bags to get through security and have this wallet and this and that. It'll be easier to get through this and that. It's like becoming one big infomercial. You know what I mean? And then it's like we have statues being taken down everywhere, which I think is a horrible way to like teach our history you know what I mean? Because we learn through our past. We learn through history. And look at like Roman empires, Egyptians, like all ancient civilizations, when they conquer a, a society, when they take out a society, they erase its history. That's same with like ancient scripts. And that's why they like in ancient civilizations, we see, you know, like the Aztecs and the Sumerians, we see you know, people going in there and trying to destroy their religions, their histories, everything. And we're witnessing this around our country right now because everybody's kid who got a trophy and never got spanked and told that everything they felt was right and, you know, like coddled them. This is the result, dude. This is what we're getting. But don't worry if act now, if you act now, you can go and get. The Antifa. Tonight we riot for $15 on Nintendo Switch and train to be a domestic terrorist. It is freaking insane at this level, dude. It is crazy. And then this whole like um, black trans lives matter. Okay, who said they didn't? First off, okay, can we just like everybody back off the activism and special interest and everybody has their rights and this and that and that and this well no 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 stop okay at the end of the day majority of you we don't care like 99.9% .9 of americans we don't care what you identify with what we're saying is we don't want to be taxed we don't want to pay taxes to pay for your hormones and your uh, sex treatments. We don't want to have to pay for people transitioning. We don't want to have to pay for transgender to be a disability to where each person can basically get on Medicaid and it pays for everything. And it after everything is said and done, it's almost it's over one hundred thousand dollars. So people aren't, they don't care what you identify with. They just don't want to pay for what you identify with. That goes for everything. We don't, look, you want to get an abortion? Get an abortion. But don't ask somebody else to pay for it and call it your, your health rights. No, it's not. You had a right to put on a condom. You had a right to take care of it. But there's people that use this stuff as birth control because they just don't care. So it's it's not in a racist bias or, you know, all these other things. People have to look at the factuality of it. We have, like, 
two generations right now, like beneath me, and I'm like the first millennial. But these people really feel like everybody owes them everything. Like they are all victims of something in their life. A majority of these kids have been vaccinated to shit. They've been given, you know, all sorts of psychotropic medications, you know, like um, ADHD meds. Like these kids have been medicated and vaccinated. They don't have brains. We're watching these kids like burn down cities and nobody's stopping it. Nobody. You know what they're doing? They're telling NASCAR do not do your Confederate flag. It's offensive. And, you know, trying to ban people from wearing anything political. MAGA hats. It's like these people are so Captain Obvious what they're doing. So do you really think it's still about Black Lives Matter and all this? No, it is not. It's not. It is so not. And it's really pissing me off because, like, I have noticed, like, the past couple days when I go, like, run a few errands. Like, I don't like the way... I'm being judged for being white and having the views I have. You know, how how fair is that? Basically, the people that have cried bullying are the bullies. Go figure. They created all this racial division. They created the, the, the hate for the cops, the hate for our military, saying that all white people are supremacists. White people, oh, because of generational poverty, even though it's their democratic-run cities for over, like, Three decades. It's the same people. It's Stockholm Syndrome. They're narcissists. They've created all this drama from the Russia Gate and the Me Too and, you know, the Story of McDaniels. And, you know, um, then there was the transgender movement. There's a DACA. There's the Im illegal immigrants and the caravans. And then we had impeachment. Then we had COVID. And we have murder hornets. We got killer mosquitoes and it's just like, and meanwhile, we have COVID, which didn't exist. And you had nurses and surgeons on the street with their needles, you know, like, oh, we are not worthy. We are just shameful white people. Forgive us. Forgive us. Like what? But COVID's so bad right now. They're talking about lockdowns again. But those people were just out on the streets and taking all those germs back in the hospital. Right? Right or wrong? Right or wrong? And now they're talking about a Trump rally being a super spreader. Dude, I'm telling you, these people, these people are psychotic. Like, they are sociopaths. Like, y'all don't see it. Like, people have to see it, right? I can't be the only one that sees it. <laughs> it's like, what? It's pure insanity. And then I was like, earlier thinking, I was like, what's next? Alien invasion. Because remember, they had the Pope come out. And he was doing, um, he was, he actually, they actually did a plan on how they would talk to aliens who invaded us. And Congress came up with how they would handle an alien invasion. And we have Space Force, our own military in space. Where, I mean, we have all sorts of secret programs going on. So we also have overseas, like, you know, India and like Korea, like people bombing each other. Like there's real wars going on. All people are like, black trans lives matter because it's, they're sex workers. Like, nobody told you you had to be a sex worker, dude. And you know what? With this Rashad Brooks thing, Brooks, uh, if it were any of us who were drunk in a car, would the cop be like, hey, man, we're just going to let you walk home? Fuck no. God, no. So to charge a cop with murder? Okay. And the kicking thing, they edited that video to make it look like that. That cop actually jumped over and they started doing CPR within a minute. This is all perpetrated and designed. I mean, look at the way they had to explain why they were charging the officers with it. It's like a soap opera. It's like they're telling you a story and they're telling your their opinion on it and what they think they're, what should be done, what they approve of, what they believe in, and none of what they're going by is the actual law. There's a legal system that has nothing to do with your fucking feelings. Why is this so hard to comprehend? Like, why don't people understand that? If a cop says stop, just stop. How hard is that? 
How hard? Nobody's appreciating these cops' lives. None of them. Man, they're getting be Oh, my God. I can't imagine going to work. And then going to work and actually having somebody who's intoxicated, then fought you, and then shot take your own taser gun at you, and then he turns around, and because he turns to run and you shot, there's a lag time. There's a, a thing called lag time. That police, they're not in the wrong. I'm sorry. And homeboy was out on parole, okay? That's why he ran. He was out on parole. Stop making these people heroes. You're sending the wrong message. You're saying that it's okay to run from a cop if you're black, if they're white, and then you can sue them because you have all these ill opportunists out there making a ton of money off of it, and it's disgusting. And I've been getting into arguments with my daughter about this. And she's like, now, mom, you need to support. I'm like, Jules, there's a whole other side to things that y'all don't understand. Your kids, and that's how indoctrinated they are. It's like, it's our job right now to start, like, it's hard to talk to them. I know you're just like, ooh, ooh. you're just like, no, no, no. Like, ah. But you just got to be patient and try to get through to these younger kids on how reality works. And there's accountability and there's consequences. There's consequences for every action. You know, we got to, the way adults are acting right now in this country. Okay, I am not surprised at what we're seeing with these other kids. Because it's like, oh my God, everybody's got an excuse for their feeling. But nobody's being held accountable or taking accountability for what they did that was wrong. They're just excusing it. And then somebody else glorifies them. Somebody else victims them. And then they lawyer up. It's like this sick freaking cycle. And it's a disease. It's a cancer in our society. And we need to get rid of it. All of this crap has become a cancer. We're all the same. Yeah, we all face certain different things. But dude, we're all fighting to be treated the same, being treated equal. But we're all hating on each other. And attacking each other and segregating each other and doing all this, it kind of contradicts itself. You know, it, it's not proactive. It's, you know, totally, totally interfering with the goal line. You know what I mean? So that like, subscribe and share. Love you. Bye.